Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are so glad that you tune in with us today here at 3rd Avenue Baptist Church under the leadership of Pastor Dean K. Wright as we begin our New Day Hour of Power series. We ask you to tune in with us and let's sing a song of preparation. Amen? Is filled with swift transition. Faithful to 
what you would have for him to do. Yes. Yes. We thank you for him, Father. Thank you. And then most of all, Father, we want to thank you for our pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Continue to keep your loving arms around him and his family, Father. Continue to protect them, Father. Continue to guide them in the way that you want them to go, Father. Father, we know the way is now.
to say, putting us in a, giving us, God giving us a level mind. Amen. Mind that we could still remember to give up, God, uh, wake up and say thank you. Thank you. To our God and be appreciative of what he has for us on this day. Amen. We don't want to take anything for granted these days. The scripture lets us know that tomorrow is not promised. For us. And it also tells us don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. So that leads me to ask the question, what do we do about today? And if tomorrow is going to take care of itself, that makes me believe that God is already taken care of today. And we are certainly ever so appreciative yes, to our God. We give no respect to any other deity right. but to our God. Yeah. It is he who has made us yeah. and not we ourselves. Yes, sir. We are his workmanship. Yes, sir. We are for his salvation because we are his creation. Yes, for God so loved us oh, yes. that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, yes. That whenever we believe in him, we should have everlasting life and we yes. shall not perish. Yes. And God commended his love towards oh, us. Yes. And that while we were yet yes. his enemy, yes. 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 our Christ died yes. for us. Yes. Just a few things you all not take for granted. Amen. He has prepared for us a place. Mm -hmm that we don't know about, we cannot fathom how great it is. But because we know how great our God is, oh, yes. Well, yes. we know that it is more than any man could ever build. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why we ought not to trust man, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to not trust ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because God is the only miracle worker and he's the only one who specializes in things that are impossible. Yes, sir. But we love him. Yes. Because he is our God. Yes, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to fight about it today. No, no, no. I'm not willing yes, to entertain anything else yes, sir. or anybody else. Yes, sir. My heart is fixed. And my mind is staying made up. Yes, sir. I'm determined. Yeah. Live for God. Yes, sir. I don't need a debate now. Yeah. I take the words of Pastor George Pride. Mm -hmm. You right. can't make me die. Yes, sir. Yeah. I know too, too much, much now. <laughs> I've learned no taste and see. Yes, sir. The Lord is good. Yes, he is. Know that his mercy and his truth yes. endure through all generations. Yes, sir. He didn't just pop up on the scene. Mm -hmm. He popped the scene up on us. <laughs> I didn't make him up in my mind. Yeah. But his being made my mind up. Yeah. Yeah. I find no fault yeah. in him. Yes, sir. Oh, how I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. I know what they say about him, mm -hmm. but I know what I know about yes. him. Mm -hmm. Some say he never existed, mm -hmm. and I say, yet yeah, he lives. Yes, sir. Some say that he was just a man, mm -hmm. but I say he's God. Yes. You don't have to take him, but I'm going to roll with him. Yes, sir. <laughs> I want to preach, but I got to testify to you. Yes, sir. It's all right, y'all. It's all right. It's getting to be a tired, getting to be tough times now. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. When people have all kinds of rebuttals. Yes. And people have their ways of refusing it. Yes. But all that does is solidify my belief in it. Great, God. And solidify my faith. Mm -hmm. See, because you don't fight against something that's not real. Mm -hmm. You don't fight against something that oh, and with wrong when you know that the other is true. Mm -hmm. I know who God is. Yes, sir. Amen. And we who are God's children who are walking away mm -hmm. to where we can stand boldly and proclaim. Mm -hmm. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Yes, he is. 
we ought to prove him in our handiwork. Yes, sir. We ought to prove God by our actions. Mm -hmm. Not to try to prove that he existed. Mm -hmm. But you ought to prove him by his, for his glory. Yes, sir. Meaning that you ought to live his commandments. Right. And you ought to walk in his ways. Yes, Because there's none like him. Mm. Amen. I know the world's tried to make him from the Bible, they try to make him a God of hatred and a God of death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But every time I talk to him, he gives me life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he shows love and favor. Amen. I don't need nobody trying to tell me something <laughs> or tell me about a God yeah. that I already know. All right. All right, brother. You can't tell me what he did and, and, and you can't tell me what you think he is mm -hmm. when he keeps on talking to me. It keeps on blessing us. Yes. I told you, I'm going to preach out the wire. It's just some things I got to get off of my chest. Go ahead, Because I know that some will see this from my social platform and through social media. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that this little boy from the ghetto Come on, man. has found a savior. Yes. Yes. I found God oh, through his son, Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes. If nobody else is willing to tell you, I'll tell you. I'm yeah. Jesus is yes, the Christ. Yes, he is. The Son of the living God. Yes, Amen. And he is the Savior of the world. Yes, he is the Messiah. Yes. i tell you who else he is. He's Emmanuel. Uh -huh. yes, he is. He's God with, with us. Yes, yes. He is the creation, the creator of the world. Yes. And he's the only one who we can testify and say he's older than his earthly father mm -hmm. and the same age as his heavenly father. Yes. He's God. Yes. He's not just a man, but he is deity. Yes. He reigns supreme. Mm -hmm. There's none like him. There's none before him. Mm -hmm. You can come up with your other gods. You can come up with your other religions. There's none like our God. All right, sir. I see so many people and they say, well, how can you make that statement? I've never seen religions fight other religions. But I always see other religions attack, attack our religion. I don't see Muhammad fighting Buddha. Right. I don't ever see Baal fighting the Moab gods. But I see everybody attacking Jesus. Come on. I see men believers and unbelievers trying to establish who Christ is. I don't see too many people researching and Googling where their gods came from. Come on now. Ain't nobody researched and told us where Buddha came from. Come on. And where he where he came from. You never even asked what his ethnicity was. But you always got something to say about Christ. Well, But I know why it is. Because there's no way you can go that you don't see it. And there's nothing you can do except he allows you to. And you know what that means, don't you? He is who he says he is. He's God. And he's God alone. Amen. 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 I'm going to preach now. Yes, I just thought I set the record straight. Yes, sir. So quit messing with this little old preacher. Mm -hmm. Because I love him. Yes. And it ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen. 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 Let me, let's look at God's word today. I got a parable for us that God wants to share with us. Well, look at the book of Matthew, chapter 21, beginning at verse number 28. It says, "What? but what do you think? A man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward, he regretted it and went. Uh -huh. Then he came to the seconds and said, likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir. But he did not go. Uh -huh. Which of the two did the will of his father? 
They said to him, the first, Jesus said to them, as surely as, as, as surely I say to you, the tax collectors and harlots entered the kingdom of God before you. Mm -hmm. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, mm -hmm. and you did not believe him. But tax collectors and harlots believed him, and when you saw it, you did not afterwards relent and believe him. Mm -hmm. I don't have a subject today. Okay. I just want to preach again to you from Matthew 21, mm -hmm. this parable. Mm -hmm. This parable is a lesson for all of humanity. All right. This parable should be a great eye opener mm -hmm. for everyone that will hear it. Mm -hmm. It should be a great teaching for those who can believe the message in it. The message in it today is very vital uh -huh. for the solidification of the salvation in which you have or in which you do not have. This parable speaks of a father who had two sons. Mm -hmm. Two sons, and he asked both of them, made the request, the same request to both of them. I asked him, would you go work in my family? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. One said, no. Mm -hmm. No, I will not go. And then, after consideration, he said that I'll go. Mm -hmm. I regret the fact that I even told my father that I would not go All right. and work in his vineyard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the other child, he spoke to him and asked him, made the same request and says to him, will you go and work mm -hmm. in my vineyard? And he said, yes, I'll do it. And then his actions were opposite of what his statement was. The Bible says that he did not go. Well, and the Bible now asks the question, which one did the will of the Father? Mm. But before I get there, I want to take a look at these children. Mm. Look at their statements and their actions. Mm. I want to tell you that there are a group just like these children. Mm. Well, the Bible didn't name them, so... I often say that sometimes we got to look at Scripture and find out that he's not talking about them mm -hmm. as much as he's talking about you and I. All right. yeah. Come on now. Maybe you can put your name mm -hmm. as one of these children. Mm -hmm. His first child, it says that he told us, the first child made the statement, says no. But after regretting that, he turned and said, yes, I'll go. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you the question, how many of you have... Mm -hmm had a request brought to you by God, and your first response was no. Mm. I will not go. Mm. Don't be alone and don't be afraid because it might just have been your first statement to God is no. Mm -hmm. But then you ought to be able to rejoice because you're sitting here today listening to the word of God. Well, Amen. saved by Thank the you. grace of God. Thank you. Amen. Because after consideration, yeah. I realized that that was my daddy. Yeah. That was my father. Mm -hmm. Then I had to consider some things and say to myself, well, this is my father, but it gets a little deeper than that. Mm -hmm. It says that the father requested that you go and work in my vineyard. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, I've turned down a whole lot of jobs. But I found no better job mm -hmm. than being employed by my father. Well, because I've told the story and I'll tell it again about my biological earthly father. Yeah. When we were just children, my father was a carpenter by trade, uh -huh. and he had a business where we would, uh, where he would uh, renovate houses. We would put roofs on houses. And you think it's hot now. I remember doing roofing work when it was back in the, I believe, late 70s and early 80s. Mm -hmm. When people were dying in their homes. Mm -hmm. That was one of the first times I remember that they started giving away fans mm -hmm. to people that didn't have sufficient air conditioning yeah. in the house. Yeah. But my father, at that time, we were still putting roofs on houses. Mm -hmm. When other people was on the inside of the house, mm -hmm. dying. 
my father would take us, and I found no trouble with working for my father. But it was a great distress in working in that heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember he would teach us that when we put on our clothes to work, we would get up early in the morning uh -huh. to get up and go and work on the rooftops of these houses. Mm -hmm. And he would make sure that we had on long sleeve shirts yeah. with t-shirts up under them. Mm -hmm. And then he would make sure that we would take wet cloth and put it in our hats and put it on our heads. Mm -hmm. And what it would do was when the body would press fire, uh -huh. The sweat from our body would drench the t-shirts and the undergarments that we had. Mm -hmm. And it would keep us, our body temperature down. Yeah. Well, yeah. So we were able to withstand the heat mm -hmm. and, the, and the, uh, the tough, turbulent weathers that we had to face. And I realized something in that. That my father might put me at a hard day's work. Yeah. But he always cared enough to look out for me. Yeah. And I had no problem working for him then mm -hmm. when I knew that he was looking out for us. Yeah. Right, right. But not only did my father make sure we had on the right equipment to work, but he also made sure that he paid us. Yeah. Right. At the time of my youth, before I was even a teenager, mm -hmm. my dad would pay us just like we were grown men. Well, mm -hmm. he paid us well. And he taught me even from there how to tithe yeah. and give my offerings. Yeah. Because he would say, here, I'm going to pay you on a Sunday, mm -hmm. right before you go to church. Mm -hmm. And then he would turn around and say, I'm going to pay you right around offering time. <laughs> so now you have a dilemma to make a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you're going to take it and put it in your pocket. Uh -huh. Or you're going to give a portion unto the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would always teach us and let us know that this that I have, uh -huh. it has come from the Lord. Yeah. The strength you have to work came from the grace of God. Well, the job that you have. It's not because your daddy is so smart, but because your father has favor on you. Yes. And I'm thinking about this child here who first said, nope, I won't do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then after saying that, he regretted it and said, yes, I'll go. Uh -huh. And how can you walk away from your father Come on. who teaches you how to provide for yourself mm -hmm. and, then teaches, and then pays you well and shows you the pleasure of an honest day's work? Well, and then he equips you to work in conditions that's taking the lives of others. Yeah. That's right. So in other words, my father teaches us how to be prosperous yeah. in tough times. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what the parable is showing now that this child had a time to think about mm -hmm. saying no to his father. Mm -hmm. But after careful consideration, he says, I'm living mm -hmm. in tough times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm living in distressful situations. Right. And it's only my father who's made sure that I got out of it. Well, it's only my father who blessed me yeah. when the world would. Yeah, right. So I regretted telling him no. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why I asked the question, is anybody in here today mm -hmm. ever said no to the Lord? Yeah. Yeah. But if you have, don't worry about it because it ain't always about the first response. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's about the second reaction. Yes, yes. After careful consideration, I think I better get up off of my stool of do nothing. Uh -huh. yes. I think I better get up out of this fiery furnace. Yes, yes. Before the Lord is not with me and it gets too hot and unbearable because if it burn up those who started the fire, yes, surely it's capable of burning me up. Yes. yes. And if I don't obey God, yeah. and, and, then, and if I don't refuse to rebel against the other God, uh -huh. I might have to suffer some of this. Heat. Come on, God. And it may consume me. Mm -hmm. And why wouldn't I want to work in my father? Come on, yeah. Yeah. I'm staying here for a little while, but I'm going somewhere else. Yes, sir. Why wouldn't I want to work in my father's vineyard? Mm -hmm. Because don't you know that whatever my father has, don't you know that's my inheritance? Mm -hmm. And this is the same thing the Lord is teaching us. He said, you ought to work while it's day. Well, 
for the night coming when no okay. man can work. Well, you got to learn how to look a little beyond just that scripture and really open your mind. Yes, sir. Because there's a time that you won't be able to work. Yeah. Yeah. But if you work for the Lord when you can work for the Lord, yeah. when you can't work no more, yeah. you will end up reaping the benefits yeah. of what you receive because you were faithful. Yeah. Yeah. Look how the Lord works for them. Yeah. He says, tell the story yeah. now. Yeah. Make the pathway clear. Yeah. Teach the salvation of the Lord. Because one day your eyes will get dim. Come on, man. And your steps will get short. Yes, yes. And you can't go like you used to go. Yes, right. But by the grace of God, yes, sir. I may not be able to move. Yes. But I still have a God that will sit there with me. Yes, sir. I may not be able to preach like preach. I used to preach. Yes, sir. But I still know the story and reap the benefits of telling the story. Yes. Because I'll be surrounded by a great cloud of witness. Yes. I don't know about you, but one day I want to be in that yes, cloud. I want to be the one that they looked at and said he was faithful. Yes. Even unto death. Yes. He was faithful. Yes. Even unto the death of a cross. Yes, that wasn't just for Jesus now. Yes. Will you be faithful? Come on, now. Even until the cross. Yes. Meaning that we hold the story. Yes. Even though Jesus died. Yes. Be faithful unto death. Yes. And faithfulness means that don't just be glad that he died. Come on, now. But be rejoiceful because he rose. He rose. Yes. Yes. With all power. Yes. Come on, I want to work in my father's vineyard right. because his vineyard is my inheritance. Yes, sir. And if I just stay faithful, when daddy says it's time, he'll open up the doors of the vineyard yes, and he'll say, look what I have for you, son. Yes, what great things is in the, in the vineyard. The vineyard shall be built and established uh -huh. by the faithfulness yes, sir. of the children. This child says, now I, I, I got beside myself. <laughs> I told the Lord, no, I ain't going. But then can I tell you, you got some other brothers and sisters in this life. Uh -huh. Some other brothers and sisters that have the same opportunity that you may have. Yes. And the Lord says to them, son, mm -hmm. will you work for me? Uh -huh. yes. And the first one says no. And being honest with himself. Yeah. But the second one says, I'll go in line to God yeah. and lying to his father. Yeah. Look at the situation now. Yeah. I keep telling you that God has a vineyard mm -hmm. and he also has a desert land. Yeah. He has a, a place, yeah. a land of milk and honey. Yeah. Yeah. But he also has a wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. This father is the creator of all. All right. He has one place that he has prepared for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he has another place uh -oh. that's prepared for the rest. Yes. I'm still that preacher that preaches heaven and hell. Yes, sir. And God didn't create heaven and hell for it to for them to be vacant. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going north hey. and somebody's going south. Yes. And it's not because of the Father. Is because of your statement to the Father. Is because of your belief with the Father. Mm -hmm. Because his second child turns and says, I'll go. Uh -huh. But then after he thought about it, uh -huh. he said, no, I ain't going. <laughs> I will not go. Mm -hmm. and there are some that may be among you that have made it up in their mind. Well, I'm not going to work for my father. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to obey my father. Mm -hmm. He might be my creator, yeah. but I still don't want him. Mm -hmm. I'd rather take my chances. Mm -hmm. Instead of working in a vineyard, yeah. I'd rather work, live in a jungle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of working and do the will of my father, I'd rather try to make my own way. And that's what troubles me this day for so many people. So many people think they have found the answer. So many people have the idea that they're so enlightened. Yeah. And they're so knowledgeable about the truth. And then they'll turn around and say, and I keep uh, telling you this all the time, to keep your eyes open. Yeah. And keep your ears to listen. 
You've got so many people says that this book ain't right. Mm -hmm. And then they'll tell you that the writers and the author are not true. Mm -hmm. And you can't believe what's in this right. book. Right and then you ask them, well, how do you come up with that idea? Yeah. And then they'll turn right back around uh -huh. and then say, I read it in this other book. All right. <laughs> and I listened to this other writer. And that other writer, now you will talk about the writers of this book. Yeah. You'll call them homosexuals. Yeah. You'll call them atheists. Yeah. You'll call them slave owners. But then if you do the research, yeah. as you say, uh -huh. you'll find out the writer of your book that you believe in. He was just as bad as you say these writers were. Uh -huh. But the real truth of the matter is, how can you get mad at me for believing in the God of this Bible yeah. and you believe in the God of that book? Yeah. And I tell you once again, I'd rather believe in a God that I know is real yes, sir. and I know that he loves me yes, than to believe in a man-made God yeah. that you looking at and who has authored a book yeah. that just barely made the top sellers list. Yeah. But this book here has been from everlasting yes, to everlasting. Yes, yes. This word has rang true before the foundation of the world was ever even laid. Yeah. But you don't believe somebody that wrote a book back in 1975. Yeah. He ain't even as old as you are. Free, and he's supposed to know the truth. Yeah. Well, how do I know he's telling the truth? Yeah. If you want to believe him, yeah. you go ahead on and believe him. Yeah. But I have a problem with believing the testimony of every man. Yeah. Because every man ain't in your corner. Yeah. And, never, and no man is ever God. So I'd rather believe in God. Yeah. I know I have not seen him. Mm -hmm. You don't have to remind him. Come on. But I've seen his handiwork. Yes, sir. And by faith, I believe yes, that he is. Yeah. And I know that he's a reward yes. because I've seek after him. Yes. And I tell you again, don't taste and see <laughs> that the Lord he is good. Yes, yes, and I know that his mercy yes. endures yes. through all yes. generations. Because not only has he put mercy on my life, yes. if you still breathing, yes. even breathing threatening and slow yes. against the God, yes. he still shows some mercy on your life. Uh -huh. Because you couldn't breathe threatening and slow if God would take your breath. Yes. And he had mercy to let you stay around here to be a fool just a little while longer. <laughs> So I know who my God is. Yeah. Yeah. You tell me what your God has done to me. Yeah. Because every dart and fire dart that he's thrown at me, mm -hmm. it was shielded by the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still walking yeah. and I'm still talking. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because I learned how to say yes yeah. to my father. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not working in the jungle. I'm working in the vineyard. Yeah. Right. I'm following after the Lord there. Yeah. Because he puts me in a place whether he's going to send us to a place where the wicked will cease from trouble yes, and the weary will be at rest by working in the vineyard. But this second child turns and says, I'll go. Uh -huh. But then he decides that he won't go. That's the testimony of so many people. So many people say, well, yeah, I, 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 I trust you, God. I'll work for your daddy. I'll work for my father. But then when it comes down to it, refuse to go. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at some of the reasons that they may refuse to work, if the man refused to work in his father's vineyard. Mm -hmm. Some refuse to work in their father's vineyard because they say it doesn't pay well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some refuse to work because they said dad is trying to get some free labor. Yeah. <laughs> dad is trying to get his own stuff together. And then it, uh, we don't benefit from it. So I might as well go work on my own. Uh -huh. Well, if that's what you believe, then that's just what you believe. And I say that that's all just selfish thinking. Great job. Because if, when I look at this parable here, I have to believe that the father was really being more considerate of the needs of his children yeah. than he was the care of himself. The father was said, be employed in my vineyard. Mm -hmm. I have opportunity for you. Mm -hmm. I don't need you to do anything for me mm -hmm. because I own the vineyard. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. 
Yeah. And don't you know that the most employers don't need you? Great Just about every job that I know of. If it's any kind of decent job. They've got more applications than they do employees. You're right. right. You're right. And they'll run you out of that door. Yeah. Just as fast as you walked in. Mm -hmm. Because there's always somebody, somebody standing else. there yes. willing to take what you keep saying you ain't going to take. Yes, sir. The second says that he, he, he probably had the mindset that if I don't work for daddy, the vineyard is going to go bad. Yeah. And he's calling me because he needs me. Yeah. And daddy can build a vineyard if he needed you. <laughs> and if he was trying to employ people like you, mm -hmm. see, it was a privilege mm -hmm. for the father to ask the children to yeah. come work for him. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't by necessity. Amen. He was saying, it's more beneficial for you. Yeah. yeah. Can I tell you what that looks like in 2022? Come on. God says, let me employ you mm. because you don't look so good unemployed. <laughs> you ain't right. making it and surviving. Come on. Like I want my children yes, to survive. Right. Yeah. Working for the ways of this world. Yeah. Right. God. How are you looking these days? Free. Yeah. Walking around here unemployed <laughs> and got bad credit. Free, God. How you feeling now? You don't look too well. When you want to go somewhere mm -hmm. and you ain't got no coins in your pocket. Come on now. Like the young folks say, you ain't got that bag. You ain't got that bag. And it's because you've been working for the world. Yes, sir. Let me ask some of these drug dealers today. How you looking? Yeah. When you up morning, noon, and night. Yeah. Trying to sell drugs and put money on your tape on the table. And you ain't got as much. As a person with a minimum wage job, three job. I was looking at a, a a guy who was talking about these rappers and gangbangers and and how they go into the streets and try to show that they real. Mm -hmm. One has killed another. And now he's in jail, and now his whole group, his whole well, group of buddies, yes, now they're in jail. Mm -hmm. But before they got to jail. They was all on videos holding up all of this money, and we got the bag. And they got these big diamond necklaces Three on, guys. and they got these yeah. big bad cars. Yeah, yeah. And now they've taken somebody's life. Yeah. So they're working for the streets right yeah. now. And they've yeah. been giving you the impression that they really got mm -hmm. it going oh, on. God. But then he said, now they're all in court. And this is why I'm telling young folk, quit following after what you see. Free. And start following after what you know. Free. Because God. every one of them is sitting up in court now. And guess what they up in court with? He said, now they felt that they're on the federal indictment. Yes, they're going to go through the federal court system yes, sir. with court appointed lawyers. Yes, sir. Yes. You're right about it. Now, you got all this money, uh -huh. and the streets is good to you. Yeah. And I'm in these streets. I done got off the porch, and, yeah. and I'm hustling and grinding now. And I'm after that bag 24-7. As soon as you get in jail, you ain't got bail money. Free, God. And you got a court-appointed lawyer because you can't afford a lawyer. Free. And now you facing federal indictment. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. you right about it. That's what it happens when you don't want to work for your father. Yes, yeah. You don't work for your creator. Amen. You want to tell him, yeah, I'll serve you. Yeah. Because if you ask anyone I'm right now, uh -huh. I'm pretty sure they'll tell you the same testimony. Mm -hmm. Only God can judge me. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Only you might say only God can judge you. But I know what this world can punish you. Come on. And this world <laughs> will just go cost you. Yes, sir. You've given up life because you've been working for the streets. Yes. I didn't say I'm for the streets. <laughs> well, now we're going to find out the streets don't play that well. Come on, man. And it won't have you looking good. Come on. And you know how it looks standing up in front of that judge and you ain't got none of your pay? None. That you can show anybody else? You don't get to wear that necklace up there in front of that judge. Come on, man. And you don't get to wear them Rolex watches in Come front on. of that judge. Yeah. They got their own bracelets that they're going to give you. <laughs> <laughs> right, buddy. 
They have their own mansions. At least the Lord tells us that in my Father's house are many mansions. Well, in the world's house is many cages. Be right, buddy. Amen. Be right, buddy. But now that the second child says that I'll work for you, mm -hmm. but then he changes his mind. Mm -hmm. Decides that, no, I don't think that that's great important. Mm -hmm. So I've made the decision now. And I'm going to go in another direction. When he goes in this other direction, you can imagine mm -hmm. what his life did, it, it becomes. And then it, the question now arises, which one mm -hmm. did the will of the Father? Yeah. And that's a simple question to answer. The one who regretted his first statement and made the decision to yeah. follow it. And now we go, it goes on and tells us, for John came to you in the way of righteousness, mm -hmm. and you did not believe him. But tax collectors and harlots believed him. And when you saw it, you did not afterwards relent and believe him. Now look what has happened. Yeah. Yeah. He says to him that you who called yourself righteous mm -hmm. has decided to go against God. But those who didn't call themselves righteous mm -hmm. end up coming to God. Mm -hmm. Let's switch the tables for yeah. a little while. See, sometimes we look at the people in the church as if they were the ones been saved all their life. Praise God. And then we look at the ones outside of the church and believe that they'll never be saved. Mm -hmm. But what you're looking at is a fallacy and a falsehood. Mm -hmm. Because if you really look close mm -hmm. at your life, it's more uh, a rehabilitated crooks yeah. and addicts yeah. in the church Come on, girl. than he is outside yes, of the church. Yes, yes. We fall in the category not as those who were self-righteous and couldn't get ourselves together and follow God. Yeah. We fall in the in the possession of in the company of tax collectors and harlots. Yeah. I dare not ask for you to hear your testimony. <laughs> but I know a lot of you in here. Come on, God. And I know myself. Yeah. And I didn't come in here with with no scar wounds on me. Free. I did not come in here with a perfect record behind me. Yes, yes. I fell in the position and the category of tax collector. Yes. Can I tell you what a tax collector was known for? Hey, hey. A tax collector was a robber and a cheater. Yeah. A tax collector was one you could not trust. Yeah. A tax collector is one who would take advantage of anybody. anybody. A harlot was one who would sell themselves in order to make a living. Yeah. A harlot was one who says that I know what I am, yeah. but I know what I need. Yeah. And when you look at them, if you come to the church house, you'll see some exes. <laughs> you'll see some addicts. That once was, but now is. You don't see some that used to speak with lies, but now speak with truth. Yes, sir. Don't get it mixed up. I know what I said about the previous people, but it falls in the same category. But open up your mind. This is a parable. Yes. There is a message in the parable yes. that only the believer and the child of God can understand. Yes. Don't let the world tell you this story. Yes. Yes. You got to let the law reveal it to you. Yes. And he only reveals it to his children. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. The second group here that he says that you heard the testimony, yet you wouldn't believe. Yeah. It says, so let me read 32 again. He says, for John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him, but tax collectors and harlots believed. Can I tell you what John was doing? Mm -hmm. yeah. He says, John came to you in the way of righteousness. Mm -hmm. You know who he's talking to, don't you? Mm -hmm. He was talking to everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the text. Mm -hmm. John came and he talked to harlots, tax collectors, yeah. and those who considered themselves to be righteous. Yeah. Right. But it only said that the tax collector and the harlots heard, mm -hmm. the righteous didn't. Come on. So now with him coming and speaking to everybody, mm -hmm. these righteous that did not take it, yeah. you're looking at Pharisees and scribes. Mm -hmm. 
you looking at those who think they know who God is. Mm -hmm. That's why I give you the testimony. I didn't know God. Come on now. Until after I met God. Yes, sir. But there is a group, Pharisees and scribes, who declare they know God. Yes. But they have not yet met God. Great God. Great God. There is a group that don't study God's word mm -hmm. and have not accepted God's word. Right. But they tell you they know God. Yeah. Yeah. I can only tell you about God <laughs> after I have met God. Yes, sir. And I met him when yeah. I was a tax collector. Yes, sir. I met him when yeah. I was running the street. Yes, sir. I met him when yes, sir. I wasn't a pleasurable person. Yes, sir. So don't get it twisted in the text. Yes, sir. Understand that there are some that are outside mm -hmm. of just as self-righteous as it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right about it. Yes. It says, believe him. And when you saw it, you did not afterward relent and believe him. And to show you the second man, Something was said here, one word that was said here, that y'all pay close attention to. First response, the response of the first was in 29, he answered and said, I will not, but afterwards he regretted it and went. Mm -hmm. Now when we move down, I'm trying to find it with one scripture where he said, the second man says here in 30, right here in the middle portion, he says, I go, mm -hmm. sir. Now here we're talking about a papa. We're talking about a father talking to his children. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The first one said, I'll go. Mm -hmm. The second one says, I'll go. I'm not going, sir. Yeah. Did you see what happened there? Mm -hmm. Even though we think sir would be a respectful word. Yeah. But it's really yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. 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 Here. Sir. Yeah. And it's disrespectful in a way where he said, won't acknowledge him as his father. Yeah. He said, I'll go, sir. Yeah. 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 You see how quick somebody can let something roll off his lips. Mm -hmm. And without thinking, mm -hmm. you think he's right, but really he's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's your father. Mm -hmm. I was. I don't know how to say yes, sir, and no, sir, and yes, right. ma'am, and I understand that. But this one here, yeah. who's who's already started off lying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only does he lie, he's disrespectful. Yeah. I go, sir. Mm -hmm. I've seen even my children do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to be slick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But somebody has some authority on me. Yeah. And you tell them to do something and they don't want to do it. But they don't have no choice to do it. Yeah. And they mad. Yeah. You know what they usually say? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, I got yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Same thing here. There is a group that said, I know you're God. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to work for you, sir. Yeah. Then turn around and say, I ain't going. Yeah. And won't go. Right. See, because what you speak is also going to be how you live. Come on now. If you disrespectful in your speech, you're also going to be disrespectful in your actions. And if you really want to know how a person feels about God, you don't necessarily have to watch what he say. Just watch what he does. What he do? Yep. You write about it. That's it. So don't get it mixed up. Fair group could have been the, uh, the first one who regretted it was the harlot. Uh -huh. First group was the troublemaker. Because he said, John came to all of them. Yeah. He preached to all of them. Yeah, yeah. But the, the tax collector and the harlot heard them. That second group uh -huh. was the self-righteous. Yeah. The one who felt like they already knew who God was. Yeah. I'm through preaching now. That's enough for us. <laughs> we have to learn. Yeah. There ain't nothing wrong with working for the Lord. Yeah. But then you also have to do a self-examination. 
How many times has the Lord called you mm -hmm. for his work mm -hmm. and for his service? Amen. And then when you when you got in that position, how many of you said no? Mm -hmm. Still end up going. Mm -hmm. If you have, you ought to cry out, out hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But how many of us have been the ones that said, yeah, I'll go? And you ain't got up off of your stool or do nothing <laughs> else. Yeah. You don't, haven't done anything to show that I believe. Not that you have to prove your salvation, mm -hmm. but you ought to show your salvation. Yeah. You don't work for the Lord in order to get to the kingdom. Well, you work for the Lord because you're going to the kingdom. Because yeah. I know who my father is, yeah. and I don't have a problem with working in his vineyard. And the re another reason I don't have a problem with working for Jesus is because I see what Jesus did for me. Yes, sir. Yeah. I see the work that he did for me. I'm still the same preacher. I've got to go here right now. Mm -hmm. I saw a work that he did for me over when he was uh, before he reached the age of 34 years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did a work for me down here on earth. Yeah. The Bible says that he came down through 40 and two generations. Yeah. And while he was here as a little boy. He did some work for me. Yes. He sat in the temple now and taught scriptures of himself yeah. where people could say that this got to be him. Yes. This has to be the child of God. Yes, sir. Because the words that he reads are also the words that I see. Mm -hmm. And he's speaking it as though he is. Yes. And this word is showing that he is the one yes. that he's talking about. Yes. We talk about it. But he shows himself to us. Yes. Yes. But that's a work that he did for us. Yeah. Because he came down in this deserted land mm -hmm. and turned it into a vineyard. Yes, Can I tell you how he turned it into that a vineyard? Not, that he cultivated through this land, yeah. seeking out that which was necessary to come out of this land. Right. Yeah. Because while he walked through this land, the Bible said that people began to walk with him. Yeah. He started bringing forth fruit out of this desert land. Yeah. That's what a good vineyard or, or orchard uh, would do. Yeah. And then he turned this land into a vineyard. Because yeah. can I tell you what he did? Yeah. In every vineyard, vineyard is not a garden. Yeah. But it is a place where trees grow. Yeah. In a vineyard you have olive branches. Come on, and you man. have olive trees. And you have a peach orchard and a pecan yeah, yeah, orchard. Yeah, yeah. And a pear orchard. An orchard is a vineyard or pretty much the same thing. And can I tell you what he did? He came here and started planting. Uh -huh. Can I tell you what the first thing he planted? He planted it up on a hill called Calvary. Yeah. I believe it's in Matthew. He planted a tree up on Calvary. Yes, he, has. he tore it up on a hill. And when he got to the hill, he planted a tree up there. But you know a tree ain't good because if it don't have no fruit. So what he did was he bad forth fruit up on that tree. The Bible says that he hung there. He bled and he died. Can I tell you what that was? There's fruit on the tree. Because good fruit is good for the body. And when he died, the fruit came from the body, which was his blood. Yeah. And his blood brought forth life to all those that would confess and believe. That's what happens in a good vineyard. Hey. And in everybody else's vineyard, you might get some wine out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this vineyard, there's the wine that will stop. Yeah. Because when you get to this vineyard where he hung, bled, and he died, the wine will turn into rejoicing. Yes. There'll be some shouting up on this hill. Yes. But at this vineyard, a place called a stub, yes. resurrection took place up in that place right there. Yes. And every good vineyard will live and will not die. Yes. And can I tell you why? I know because on the third day, they looked at Joseph's tomb. And there was no man in the tomb because he rose again. Yes, sir. Oh, power of heaven and earth. Oh, right. yes, I ask you the question, how did you respond when your father asked you to work in his vineyard? God bless you. Amen. Have not our heart been blessed. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. There may be one among us who don't know Christ in the part of your city. We take time right now you to accept him. Will you come? Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. 